In a recent blog post I wrote about how to convert what would normally be like a picture in some bullet point text into an interactive video. In this case um, I can start a video, I can watch the video. A lot of times we can document a procedure just by watching the video. And then at a point where I'm interested um, and need additional help or where I may want the text-based information, I can click an icon. So we'll see an icon come up here. And it should come up here in a second. So I got this. Now when I click the icon, I have a choice. I can let the video keep playing and not get the text information. Or I can click the icon, it pauses the video, and then I have my text-based information. So normally this might be a picture with some text. In this case we just have the video. You can watch the video, the procedure. Uh, what's nice with videos, you can pick up on a lot of the nuances. And then if you need to get additional information, you can uh, click the icon at the point where you need it. And then um, get some additional information. And then when you're ready to go, just hit continue. And then it keeps playing. Now I did something similar here in QuizMaker. And let's uh, see, let me pause this. Let's go to QuizMaker. Now in QuizMaker, and this is one of the points I made in the blog post, that you could even do this in QuizMaker, leveraging QuizMaker's uh, layering capability. So you could use QuizMaker as a video player rather than as a um, uh, quizzing tool. So uh, what we have here is the exact same thing. I have my video playing and then I've got my information. Now the only difference here is with QuizMaker I don't get the interactive component. So I can't click an icon. But what I can do is have uh, the video play and then I can have information uh, come up. So essentially it's the same thing. The only difference is the video is not pausing. Now if I want to pause the video I just click the pause button down here. I can read the information when I'm ready to continue. I can go down here. One of the advantages that this has over the other is because of the scrub bar, I can actually scrub through uh, the information. So you can see I can quickly go from one to two to three to four, and I can quickly uh, get to my steps and watch the information. So pros and cons with both tools. Storyline, you get the interactivity. Quizmaker, you get the um, uh, the this scrubbing. So now let's go ahead and see how this was built. So if we actually go into QuizMaker, the first thing you do is I just used a blank uh, quest blank slide for my question. So if you come into here, um, essentially it's just a slide. I've got my video information here. I've got my numbers. I've got my all my different inf information that's going to come in at different points here. So it's just a, a slide that's assembled. And if we look at the timeline, let me go ahead and make it a little bit smaller so we can see it. Uh, you can see uh, with the timeline here I have my ovals and they just are staggered in at different points uh, on the video. And then I have um, my pictures too. The pictures here are staggered in at different points. So it's really just leveraging the timeline. It's a blank slide. I've got the timeline capabilities. I can play the video. So in, in this case I'm using QuizMaker to build a, um, a video player or, or something that can hold the video and I get the layering capabilities and then I can leverage the timeline controls which is something I wouldn't get in PowerPoint because I could um, essentially build the same thing in PowerPoint uh, but with the timeline on QuizMaker I actually get more control. And then as you can see if we look at the published output um, you can't tell it's a quiz question. It looks really nice. You've got the video. You can watch the video. Uh, and then you can have the complimentary content uh, come up uh, when you need that. Hope that helps.